Okay guys, one more day with video notes. I will be back on Friday tomorrow and we are going to do a quiz over the function stuff that you have done this week. So we're going to do, um, I'm going to work through number one with you on this sheet just to kind of review everything that we talked about um, this week. And then once you finish this worksheet, I have a review sheet. So the quiz covers relations, which we talked about were just ordered pairs. It covers functions, which we said that's when all the X's are different. Um, so both of those worksheets will be covered. Um, and then yesterday you worked with independent and dependent. Um, you worked with domain and range. And now what we're gonna look at today is if you have um, a word problem, deciding which is independent, which is dependent, writing an equation for it, and then actually figuring out um, one or some um, of the possible answers. All right, so um, I don't have the worksheet with me, but, um, and you guys hopefully have it in front of you. So the first problem says that Jacob mows lawns for $20, and the amount he earns um, is F of N, so f of n is talking about the amount of money that he earns. So that's what he earns. And um, if this is a function, so we know it's a function, of the number of lawns n that he mows. So n is the number of lawns. So um, f of n is what he's going to earn. N is how many lawns he mows. So the first thing we want to figure out is which one is independent and which one is dependent. So yesterday I told you that the best way to do it is to fill in the sentence or the phrase really. So does the money he earned depend on the number of lawns that he mows or does the number of lawns that he mows depend on how much money he earns? So if you think of it this way, then you hopefully will choose that the money that he earns depends on the number of lawns that he mows. So what that means is that the dependent is the amount of money he earns. And then, so this is talking about money here. And then the independent is the number of lawns. So for part A, um, however you want to write it, but the dependent is the money he earns because that depends on how many lawns he mows. All right, for letter B, it says to write a function to represent the total money he earns. So we know that the money that he earns is a function, that's what our F stands for, and it's based on how many lawns he mows. And we can figure out how much money he earns. So this right here is talking about the money that he earns. Well, I'm going to say money earned is, and if we think about it, he gets $20 per lawn. So $20 per lawn. So if he mows one lawn, he'll make $20. If he mows two lawns, he'll make $40. If he mows three lawns, he'll make $60 and so on. And N is the number of lawns. So if we take 20 and multiply it to the number of lawns, that will give us how much money he earns. All right, and then letter C says to determine the total money earned for mowing six lawns. So what that tells me is that the N is going to be 6. So I'm going to do 20 times 6. And that equals 120. So then I know that he earns $120 for mowing 6 lawns. And that takes care of the three sentences, or the three questions, sorry. So this is what you're going to do to continue with the rest of this page. 
you need to figure out which one is independent, which one is dependent, and hopefully you'll see a pattern um, existing there. Then you're going to write the function, which is the equation that we would use to figure out how many um, money or how many stamps or um, apples, that kind of thing as I'm looking over the rest of the questions. And then letter C is asking for you to actually solve for one of them. So they'll give you the number to replace as the independent number, and then you'll figure out what the dependent number is. Okay, so at this point, I want you to go ahead and finish this worksheet. When you are done with this, you can get the review sheet from the substitute and the review sheet will show you everything that is on the quiz tomorrow. And I will post the answers on Edmodo after school today.